review on the uh, NT510 Foxwell. Bought it from my Toyota 4Runner 2004. You know, you go here to do the uh, select the vehicle, you know, which I is the important part uh, of it all. And the auto test um, fails, and the manual test fails. There's no place to put the VIN number in like the instructions say. You know, apparently when you get this thing, the icon that's there that said Toyota, when you ordered for a different car, those are the software modules that you get. When you log on to their website, you can purchase additional modules. Um, when I first bought this thing, like, I don't know, two or three months ago, I logged in. Uh, so there it goes. It failed. So it hit failed. Then we say manually do it, right? So we try to manually uh, enter the uh, vehicle information, and you'll see that that fails as well. So, <clears throat> anyway, you buy the interface, you get the thing, you load it up, you check for an update. The last time they updated Toyota was in uh, 15. So, whatever codes they have for uh, Toyota here, uh, it's obviously not working for me. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend this thing. I mean, it has some limited functionality. You can get some things to work, like engine speed. Um, there's an air bleed test that doesn't seem to work. I was trying to get it to test my uh, ABS brakes and fix them. I mean, it'll read the code, and it'll shut off the code. But other than that, some of the other functions that they advertise, uh, this is for the six-cylinder. Some of the other functions that they advertise, the software is just not there, you know? I don't know. Auto scan. Yeah. This is, uh... It's running through some tests right now. But the VIN number part, you just it'll never work. I don't know why. I, I, I contacted support. They say, uh, they sent me instructions on how to put the VIN number in doesn't work for this unit or it doesn't work for the Toyota software maybe it was for somebody else not really sure but um, you know so I mean it'll tell you you'll get the codes of what's going on in my case here I got a problem with my uh, ABS lights flashing back and forth so I'm trying to understand what's going on with that and uh, it says there's no fault with that. Don't know why. It's probably not a good sign. Let's save it, whatever that is. Alright, we'll save it. Do you want to save and continue? Yes. Press any key to continue. Pass. No fault. Pass. No fault. So this thing says there's basically nothing wrong with the... So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Let's see what control unit does. Ah, here we go. So we want to go to the ABS one here. Should be idling. Confirm the engine's idling. Yes, the engine is idling. Uh, let's read the codes. Let's see if there's any codes. No codes found. Okay. Let's go back. Erase codes. Ignition on and engine stopped. Alright. Engine stopped. Hit yes. We'll be lost. Yeah, we'll do that. Establishing. Key is on. Whoops. Key on. Okay, yeah, key's on. Erase done. Alright. Anyway, the point is, uh, you can't get the VIN automatically selected, so I don't know what the deal is with that. And, um, I don't know. There's supposed to be an air bleed test on this thing, like for the ABS unit. That's kind of why I bought it. When I changed the, uh, the ABS unit, you're supposed to get it bled. And, uh, didn't seem to really do anything. It didn't work. That's it. Probably not buy it again.